welcome back in this session we are going to install uh, sccm configuration manager on windows 11 workstation so first of all we need to know why we are installing uh, windows uh, dp on windows 11 machines so let's suppose uh, you don't have uh, any physical server or level in your remote location like uh, there are some limited lim limited users and limited system you are managing in a remote location so you don't want to install or require any physical uh, physical servers so uh, microsoft have microsoft have uh, configuration manager have support the install deep uh, remote dp on windows 10 as well as windows 11 machines if you want to you can install windows 10 or windows 11 machine basically uh, first what is the dp like uh, what why we required the dp so as a ccm point of view dp has playing the key role as for delivering any package applications and programs uh, like uh, any uh, any types of contents where, where you have deployed from SCCM uh, it is a key point to store all content in a, any specific location where uh, client have go and download the content basically that's like it is the repository of uh, uh, SCCM as a man you, you want to say as a uh, maintenance as a management maintenance storage location as a dp so this is a my primary server a ccm primary is running as a latest 2111 i recently upgraded my ccm server and this machine has just we have create a vm uh, is it a fresh machine we did not install any application just i have spin this machine and join in a domain and uh, this machine is you can see here is it a domain joined machines a windows 11 machines so first of all like uh, we check that uh, this machine is up to date basically like uh, it is a suggestion before deploying uh, a, a dp on this machine you check it uh, machine have uh, all required package or required updates are installed we have already installed this application uh, by, uh, required patches on this machine and also required some prerequisite for installing any uh, any dp so like uh, install remote differential compression rdc isa ipi extension windows authentication web uh, iis web 6 management and also required some firewall rated port like port number 135 and tcp port so these are the basic prerequisites uh, first we need to add Add, add a site system role in your uh, account like you can see here I have already added my site system site server in uh, group in an administrative group and we have provided the proper rights that's why we have added here so before moving to installed these are the peer requisite you must follow before installing any dp and also you need to like if you want to install any here i have only created one because it's a lab environment so we did not uh, um, we have much uh, limited uh, space and hard disk so we have not created any secondary uh, like a secondary hard disk spe specify the location location for the content library and package share share path so we will use the default one but in a production uh, you need to create the separate 
hard disks for the DP. Okay, let's move to installation part. Launch uh, launch the CCM console and uh, click on the administ ad administration and click on site configuration. Here is the option site and servers and site system roles. You can click on servers and, uh, and site system role right click create the site system server and also you, here is the option you can specify the uh, machine name FQN, fqdn name where you uh, you are installing the dp just click on advance find This VM we have used for the DP installation here, and also you can define the site code. Here is the option you have. Suppose you, if you want to add uh, any different account for installation DP, then you can select second option. Otherwise, if you want to use to the same account, then you use this account. Click on next. Here is the option. Uh, if you have using any proxy in your environment, then you can select the proxy and define the proxy name and also define the port numbers. But in my case, we did not have uh, any proxy. So I check, uncheck, click on next. Here is the lots of option available while the each and every roles have defined the specific like uh, 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 role and responsibility. So in this video, we have only talk about uh, distribution point. Click on distribution point. Click on next. Here is the option uh, how you can use your distribution point. So you can describe the your distribution point. Like uh, enter the remote DP. And if you want to install, click on yes. Here is the option you can like suppose you, if you want to use uh, this uh, DP as uh, a branch cache, then you can select select the checkbox and uh, and adjust the downloading is, is speed to unused network bandwidth. Uh, and if you, there is the uh, way of configuration how you can use your DP. So in my case, we have just using the Installing the some prerequisite roles and leave at the default. Next, here is the important key how to your machine communicate with uh, DP. There is the two option. Uh, first as the HTTP and another is the HTTPS. HTTP HTTP means uh, like uh, select if you don't have any like uh, if you have in your infra if you don't have using any pki certificate then you go with http and also you can select the client anonymous if it uh, like uh, if a P, uh, pki certificate have placed then it uh, go with http otherwise it use the https sorry http and uh, second option is a like uh, this is a very secure option and also microsoft have recommended this if you have selected this then you can uh, have defined the uh, uh, pki certificate must be placed and then you can use the http option otherwise you can select this and here is the option uh, create the self sign certificate and you uh, have uh, as per the requirements so you can increase the expiry of certificate select this one next is specify the drive settings and distribution uh, like uh, we have defined the reservation of any uh, like a uh, 500 more than 500 space are required uh, uh, really uh, remaining then you can reserve the content for any other 
so here we can use the default one and here is the option in my case I have only one drive so we I go with the default one suppose if you have created the any specific drive then you can select as per the your requirement but in my case I'm go with the default one next if you want to enable pull dp then you can select one and also define the dp like this it is used for the pull dp but uh, we did not configure pull dp as it is a remote dp so we did not enable the pull dp functionality just leave it first yes next basically these are the um, part as the designing part how you can use your dp if suppose if you want to add a boot pixie enable in your dp then you can use otherwise you can just select some limited options and configure post of the configuration you can use the uh, I, let me define next go with validation you can select as the validation period as one week next and also define the boundary these are the boundary if you have any specific boundary then you can define the scope and limit limit the scope of boundary suppose you have remote location and you are using the different bound different uh, uh, like uh, different uh, uh, network uh, IP range and then you create the separate boundary that you can define here as per the your requirement let me check my system is so hanging okay click on next next so these are the uh, process it will take around 35 to 40 minutes uh, for install is installing all components and you can also look at the locks like uh, just locks on DP First, we need to look at the it will take some more time and also you can go and log in in a windows 11 machine and you can also see the something happening or not policy is not triggered we will wait some more time Just you click on here site systems you can see here site systems and DP 